I did a live stream with Tiki Eats last month and we made her version of bulgogi dumplings. I'm going to recreate them in this video. Most of the time for this dish is spent prepping all the ingredients, which I'll link Teresa's recipe in the description if you'd like to give this a try. The filling is made with ground beef, green onions, onions, garlic, ginger, carrots, class noodles, tofu, Asian pear, soy sauce, sesame oil, brown sugar, salt, and black pepper. I mixed it all up and then pulled out the dumpling wrappers. Okay, so these are not the prettiest dumplings, so if you want to see how they're supposed to look, make sure to check out Teresa's video. Yeah. This process definitely takes patience, especially when you're trying not to break the wrappers. Luckily, I was able to whip out some decent looking ones. Then I mixed water, cornstarch, and flour for the dumpling skirts. I tossed them into a hot nonstick pan and cooked until a nice crust developed. Then I poured in the cornstarch mix and covered with a lid. I had a little trouble with the skirt on the live stream, so I'm hoping it'll turn out better here. While that was cooking, I combined soy sauce, rice wine, vinegar, and pepper for a quick sauce. So presentation-wise, this could use some work, but taste-wise, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Shout out to Teresa for this quick and simple recipe. 